Hello friendships! I'm back with another tutorial. This is my tutorial for a bracelet called Larissa, created by the fantastic Janet today. Okay, she is a really good bloomer, very talented, and I love her flat designs, and they're all very straight. So, this one is a beautiful bracelet. It's very easy to make, and before I continue, I would like to thank um, thereenbeads.com www.thereenbeads you can see it right at the bottom of my screen because I have done renditions with beads that's really cute see these are six millimeter beads I can only use six you can use try eight but I don't advise it I've tried it and this is the only set of beads that look great on it so I'm sure that you guys have some of those really small ones six millimeter beads beautiful this one I love the blue and the gray then I made another one with my crackle blue beads. Look at those, so pretty. These beads are good too. Really beautiful, like like carnival tie-dye colors. So there, that's my third. And then I made one with a cup chain. Oh, thank you, Nixter, for the cup chain. This one's from Nixter. So it also looks good with a cup chain. Okay. And then I made one with a large center bead. Look at that, it's pretty. This one I love, the colors too. That center large bead is also from the ring beads and so are those really nice beads you have to see right there mixed beads so so many types of beads you can use to make this okay this is the fantastic Larissa created by Janet today okay so let's get started and today I will be teaching you this pattern which is a single color for the border single color for the center and a single a side bands and single color for the center and I will be using Tin Man for the borders I'll be using my uh, Persian green for the side bands and for the center bands I'll be using the gold Egyptian gold okay so let's go and then for my beads I'll be using these um, coffee beads from dreambeads.com <coughs> Sorry, my throat is dry. Okay, there, see? Very prate. Prate beads. They're called coffee. Okay, nice. Love it. Okay, so we will be using that. beads. So, to begin the bracelet, all you have to do is to just get a single band, place it on your hook, and then get another band, <coughs> all your border colors, and place the cap band on it. Okay. We will now reclaim the first of the cap bands and then put back the one you're holding, just like that. We will now add um, two, yeah, two more, no, three rather, three bands per side, okay, three border bands, just the beginning, okay. So you place the first one and unloop the first two and then reclaim the first of the two bands. Okay, reclaim that first one, and then you close it, <clears throat> and then you repeat that. Second band, and loop the first two, reclaim the first one, and then you close. Second one, a uh, third one rather, <laughs> you unloop the first two, reclaim the first one again, and then you close so that's what you have okay da -da. then you go and do the other side and add three bands again so repeat the step you remove the first band and reclaim that cap band remove this and then reclaim that cap band right there and then you close now you get your three border bands and place the first one and loop the first two, reclaim the first band, <clears throat> and close. Repeat that a second time. And loop the first two, reclaim the first one, and close. And one last. And loop the first two, reclaim the first one, and close. And there you go. See? Okay. 
So now, we will get our middle color, which is the gold. I will show you how to bead later. Now, I will show you without beads first for those who would like to make this without beads. So this gold is supposed to go under the middle four. These middle four. Okay? And then when you place this under, you will reclaim these two middle. Okay? So how do we do it? We place it here, the, first, the gold, the center band. And then you unloop two, four, six, and eight. Okay? So remember, you're concentrating on the middle four. Okay? Sorry. I'm filming from my iPad and it's turning. Okay, so now you unloop all the way here. Like that. <clears throat> okay. And remember, just for camera purposes, I'm moving my hands. You concentrate on those middle four bands. Remember those middle four? Oh, wait, I unloop too much. Wait, let's put back the other one. There. Okay, we don't include the last three. Only that two, four, six, oh, seven bands. Okay, seven. Seven only. From there. <coughs> hmm. What's wrong with my throat? You will reclaim number five and six. Okay, number five and six are these two. There. Reclaim five and six. Okay. And then you'll skip. Ah, it's so hard. Skip this one and then reclaim the first three. Okay, sorry I'm having a hard time because there's something wrong with my phone again and it says it doesn't have memory. So I have to film from my iPad again and see now my angle is getting messed up. So that's how it looks. You move these three bands to the front, putting the gold band in the fourth part. There. Now you see that the gold has the four bands right there. Okay. The four bands are right there. Let me just fix this. There. Do you have any idea how hard it is? <laughs> the iPad is in front of me. And so my hands, my arms are opened up. So why that my, now it hurts? Okay, anyway, that's how it looks. Okay, change the light or something. So there. And now you will get your side bands and you will work with half, five bands, five here and five on the other side. So we will work on one side first, which is the left side or the one closest to the end of the hook. You get your side band and you unloop all five. Okay. And then you will reclaim one, two, and four. So this is number four. there number four number one and two and then you close okay now you switch these two over like that and then you have the green in there <clears throat> and now you will move this green on top of this second band so it becomes the second band so just move it over switch just like that see okay and now you will get your border band and unloop these two and then you will reclaim the first band and close so what you have is that Okay, you will repeat that on the other side. So you repeat. Work on the other five bands. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you get the green again, the side band. You unloop all five. And then you will get one, two, and four. Again. So you get number four. <coughs> one and two 
and then you close move the two over see and then now you switch this again over here so it's really easy there and then you unloop on a border band And reclaim the first one. And then you close. And that's what you have. Ta-da! So now, we're kind of officially starting it. <laughs> that is the setup. So, your first step from here is you will get the center band again, which is the gold. Remember the center band, this gold. It now goes under six bands, not four anymore. When we started, it was only four. Now it's these six in the middle. Okay? So you go here. Okay? And then you will still reclaim the middle two. So you go and put your gold here. And unloop all the way to this band. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay? So you unloop all the way to number nine. Nine nine nine. Hey, sorry. There you go. This happens. <laughs> nine. There. And then it's easy to see because you will reclaim the two middle ones sticking out. The greens. Those two middle ones sticking out. The side bands basically. Two. And then you will reclaim the first three. See? One, two, and three. And then you close. And then from here, you move the three over again, making the gold the fourth one. Like that. There it is. Although it got twisted underneath. Wait, let me fix it. Got me twisted. You must not know about me. Okay. So, there. Now it looks like that. Okay. And now we work on the sidebands again. So you separate these two. And then you get your sideband. And loop the five again. After you unloop the five, you will reclaim number one, two, and four. This is number four. And one and two. Close. And then you switch the two over, like that. And then you put the third over the two, uh, over the second. <laughs> you put three over two. Okay, there. Put three over two. And then you get your border band and unloop these two. And reclaim the first one. close and now we move to the other side and repeat it you get your side band and you unloop the five <coughs> excuse me you reclaim number four and one and two four one and two close Switch over. And then place two, uh, place three over two. And unloop on a border band the first two. And reclaim number one. See? Okay. I remember that song, The Ride of the Valkyries, the entrance of the three ghosts in Casper. Although it's a classical music, a classical piece, of course, by Wagner, which I love. But that was just used so funny, in a funny way, in Casper. So, once again, 
you start all over. So you go back to the gold and place it under these six. Sorry. Place it under these six. Okay? And then reclaim the two middle. So you get your gold. And unloop all the way to number nine. It's sticky. <laughs> there. So all the way to number 9. And then you will reclaim 6 and 7. These are these two. And then 1, 2, and 3. Close. And then move the 3 bands over the gold. Then it becomes like that. See how pretty. There. And then now you work with half, which is the five. So you get your side band again. Unloop the first five. And then now you will get number three, number four, and one and two. Four, one and two. Close. Move the two over, making the green the third band. And then you move the green over the second band. And you unloop one and two on a border band. And reclaim number one and close. Then you repeat that on the other side. You get these five <coughs> side band. And loop the five. Reclaim the fourth. First and second. Close. And then move the two over the green. And then move the third over the two. Over the two. Over the one. Over the second. Like that. And then unloop those two. On a border band and reclaim number one. Ta da! Okay? See? It's so pretty! Okay, so we will do it one last time without the bead so that you can really get it. So I get my center band, center bond, <laughs> center band, and then loop all the way to number nine. Okay? Number nine. And loop and loop and loop all the way to number nine there <clears throat> and then you will reclaim six and seven the two greens and one two three one two three close and then you move one two three over the gold one two three one two three one two three one two three faster 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 <laughs> okay there and then now you split these into two. And you get your side band and unloop the five bands. And reclaim number four, one and two. Number four. One and two. And you close. And then you move the two bands over. And then now... You switch number 3 over 2. And you get a border band and unloop the 2. And reclaim number 1. 1, 1, 1. Okay. And then go to the other side. And repeat, repeat, repeat. <coughs> this is the side band. Unloop the 5. Reclaim number 4. 1 and 2. One and two, and then close, and then move one and two over three, and then move number three over two, and get border band and unloop the first two, and reclaim number one. Close. <laughs> there. Okay. You understand, yes? You understand, yes? It's like I know what I got. Okay. You understand, yes? Very good. Now I explain with bit. 
okay you listen well because this is different now you will might confuse yourself okay so when you want to bid i will use beads from the well you the w dot dorin beads dot com the coffee look they actually look similar to the tin man so i get my bead i get other hook like this or get other stick if you have <clears throat> you separate the middle again you put the bead there in the middle okay it's still the same reclaiming of the band so you might just get confused because you will still place it under the six and still reclaim these two it's just a different method because it's faster this way so you put your hook under the first six like this okay or you can use a regular rainbow loom hook actually place the other end of that beaded band and pull it under carefully under the first under the three okay and then go back up like that okay and then you pull it out all the way till that part where the beaded band is so it's half now get the other side and unloop these next three bands only three there ah wait we need deeper grooves my friends deeper grooves is important okay so three bands only up to here there so now you have that six bands remember we will reclaim the two center closest to the bead six and seven one and two and then put everything back on the hook now see there it's actually very simple it just looks complicated in the beginning right when you're just trying it and you're not sure what it is then you can get it if you just relax your hands you know don't get so worried you know it actually looks nice look you alternate with or without and then suddenly there should be there hmm i like the way it looks okay so anyway there and then you get your side bands again and loop the first five remember the arrangement okay and loop the first five and then you will reclaim number three, one and two. This is a uh, number four, one and two. Four, one and two. Close. And then you move the two over the green. Okay. Still the same. And then you move the green over the second band, making it the second one. Then you get your border band. Close. Oh, and loop the two, get the first one, then close. See, that is very easy. So, those who are good getting used to beading already, this is the way to do it. So, you get your sideband again, and loop the five. Reclaim four, one, and two. Four, one, and two, and then close. Move the first two, or move the two over the green. And then now, get the green over the second one, and get your border band. <coughs> and loop the first two, and reclaim the first one. See? It's very easy. You just think it's complicated, but it ain't complicated. Okay? Now you get your next beaded band, and let us repeat. So you move your band, your hook under the first six. Two, four, six. Get the other side of the beaded band and pull it under the three, and then up. Okay, and then you remove it, half of it, and then catch the other side of that band, and then and loop next three, just like that. Okay. And then now, sorry, it's just twisted. I'm getting OC. Sorry, there. So now you have your six bands on there. You will reclaim the two closest to the hook, closest to the ball, to the, to the bead. What am I saying? <laughs> okay, so those two. And then you put everything back on the hook. <clears throat> right there. Right there. See that? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we are now. My iPad's about to fall. <laughs> okay. My arm keeps pushing it out. <clears throat> you now get your sideband again. 
and loop the five. Then get number four, one and two. One and two. Close. Then move the first, the two and three over the one. And then now you move the green over that second one. And you get your border bane. And then loop the first two. And the plane the first one. Like that. Then you go to the other side. Get your side bane. And loop the first five banes. And go lane number four, number one, two. Then you place the second and third band over the first one. Then you switch the green over the second one. And you get the border paint and loop the first two. And you clean the first one and close. That easy, right? No sweat. It's very easy. Okay? I'll do it one last time just for the people who'd like to learn it faster. Okay, so I'll get my last one here. Place it in the middle right there. Okay? Then get your hook. Okay, I'm tired now. <laughs> get under the six. Get the other end of that beaded band and put it under the three bands. Up. <clears throat> Remove. And then get the other side and unloop the three again. Don't get twisted. Fix yourself. There. And then from there, you pick up the middle greens two of them and place everything back on the hook ain't that cool so now you've got those just fixing it a bit there okay then you just continue on okay now once you have reached your desired length all you have to do is to stop where you added that beaded band or that last center band okay and then get a single border band and loop all five and reclaim number four which is the gold band <coughs> and the first band and close okay and then you go to the other side And repeat the same steps border band and loop the first five reclaim number four and one number four and number one right there all right and now once you've done it get a single band and then loop these middle ones okay six bands in the middle and loop all the way to the second to the last band like that oh sorry come here there and loop these two again okay all of them all of them <laughs> i almost forgot all of them and then you get the two middle bands go back on and close okay so let me just fix this okay is it supposed to be like that? there so basically that's how I close it okay oops sorry <laughs> keep going on. it's so hard oh my god my arm is so painful already I ah. wish I could show you how it looked okay so now you can see that's how it looks okay it looks really pretty. I love this design. I love, 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 love it so much. Okay. So, this is how the braids look. And here are the other ones. And I want to say thank you to www.dreenbeads for my wonderful beads. And here are all my renditions of Larissa. Okay. All super pretty bracelets. 
mainly because the design is fantastic. Okay. Thank you www.dreambeads.com for my beads. Thank you Nexter for my cup chain. Okay. So, these are the Larissa bracelets. Okay. And it is sliding down. <laughs> when you make the bracelet, please don't forget to hashtag Larissa. Oh, wait, Larissa is great. Was created by Janet today. Okay. So, there is a bracelet. When you make it, please don't forget the hashtag Larissa Bracelet, Jace Alvarez, and Janet today. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.